So this is how you know there's only few chosen ones around and in certain places because you just don't see it every day, like not even close. What I've come to know, and I've known this for quite some time now, but it only, here's the thing guys, things to me only become more clear as the days go on. My understanding of everything, like let's say we do a topic on narcissism, my understanding of narcissism only grows. My understanding of like chosen ones or certain topics, it only grows and it only becomes more clear as literally every day goes by. And I learn something new almost every single day, like literally something new every day. So here's the thing, chosen ones thrive being alone the most. Like out of anything else, it's almost like an Albert Einstein type thing. Outside energy, bro, throws everything off. You can't involve yourself with too much energy. I don't even care who it is. I'm sure when Albert Einstein was alive, there was other very intelligent people, but guess what? He spent a lot of time alone for a reason. The littlest distractions throws off your IQ. The littlest distractions. And this is why chosen ones thrive alone. Like more than anything else, I'm not saying just 24 seven be alone. It's good to have some other people engage with yourself as well at times, but you have to have your alone time. You have to have it. If you don't, you're not even gonna be yourself, <coughs> to be honest. You're not gonna be yourself. Things will be off. Outside energy, things that just come in, like, there was a time in my life, bro, where I had to live with other people. Obviously, I was a kid before. I was an older teenager before. I was a person in my early 20s before. I had to live with other people. And I got to the point where I got closer and closer and closer, let's say to 20, then 21, 22, 23, around those ages. The further I started getting into my 20s, the more I wanted to be away from people because everyone and everything was just a distraction. And not every single thing that was, that was around me was necessarily bad energy. Something can have good energy but still be a distraction to you at some sort of cause. If something's around you all the time, it can be no matter how good it is, you still need your downtime. You still need to be able to think for yourself. And if you can't, it's going to disrupt everything that's actually inside of yourself. And this is why chosen ones thrive being alone the most. And this is how outside energy can throw things like that off. You have to be able to think for yourself. You have to be able to do things for yourself. You need a sound mind. You absolutely need it. There's times every now and then where too much energy will be consumed in, in certain places and it's like your energy the next day or something like that just feels off. And that's when you have to pull back. You can't take that back. You're gonna feel some type of way the next day. So the next day you need some solid downtime. Like you're not expending so much energy in a million different places. You don't take the whole day to have downtime, but you're conserving energy while making smart decisions in the run of a day. Like you're still knocking off chores, you're getting some work done and stuff like this, but it's like for the remainders of the day, it's more so downtime. So you can recuperate, so you can think clearly again. Because sometimes, regardless what you're around, it can cause you to have some cobwebs in your mind. A little bit of brain fatigue, a little bit of brain fog. That's what you have to clear. You have to be on point. You have to feel good. This is why Albert Einstein was a genius. He made the right moves. He did the right things. He took long walks by himself. No outside energy. He was thinking for himself. I did the same thing before I even knew he did that. And then I heard he did that. And it's like, damn, I was always naturally doing things without even knowing them. Without even knowing it was good, I was naturally doing things because it's like I was always so in tune with my own energy. 
especially as I started getting a bit older. And I'll tell you why I think that happened. For the simple fact that whenever I was going to school, by the time you're in high school, you go through those days, coming on to the end of it, bro, your energy is discombobulated. You're kebobbled, kadazzled. Your energy is completely off. You partied. You got with Jezebels. You got with these toxic females. You and your friends smashed some of the same girls. Friends started fighting and splitting up. This never happened with me and nobody else. But I know other friends I had that they were like against each other because of a female. So things happen. Thing, bad energy gets created. You start to almost change because you're not thinking for yourself fully. You're around people too much. That's what happens. So... When I get out of high school, you start to be around people less and it's, you start to feel better and it's like, damn, I need more of this. I wanna reach my potential. I'm gonna work hard and I'm gonna reach my potential. I gotta get away from this mess because it's a mess. Sometimes when you're in the mess, you don't really see it that way because you're always in it. It's like dating an arc. When you're in it, you don't know. It's a mess. It's a total mess, but you're in it, but you don't know it. Until you're out. When they discourage you, you sure as shit know it at that point, don't you? Because everything feels off. Your real world is very cloudy. It's, it's almost like delusion. You lived in a delusion. You can't think for yourself. Without that person. You shouldn't feel that way. Like when you're by yourself, you should be in a very good state. And if you're always having to be around others to feel like you exist, to feel like things are normal, that is not good. Do you know what this is? That is codependency. And you know what? If you're a very codependent person and you're watching this video, you can kick the codependency. You can kick it. It's not healthy. It is not healthy to be a codependent person where you feel better energy when you're around others and terrible energy when you're by yourself. That is not good. You should both feel good when you're by yourself and when you're around others. Not one or the other, not the other way around. This exact way to be a healthy person. You should feel good by yourself and you should feel good too when you can talk to others. And you should even probably feel better when you're by your damn self. Unless it's a very healthy human being you're having a conversation with. Because you're going to feel excellent at that point as well. But you should never find yourself, and we've all been there to a degree. Like I said, when you're in school, bro, you're around people 24-7, so it's almost like when you're not around people, it feels off. This is, bro, this is the problem with the world today, and this was not going on even when I was in high school, but it, it's worse today now than ever because guess what? Young kids that are going to school today, and even people that's in university right now, you know what? You know, you know what the reality is for them? They're constantly attached to somebody else, and I'll tell you why. Anytime you're in school, that's the case. And guess what? When school's over, what do we have nowadays? Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all these apps, which I recommend sticking to a few and keeping it there and limiting your time on those apps to begin with. And you know what's the worst one? You, got, you already know. Snapchat. Attention whores. Attention whores. They can't help it. They're codependent. This is a person that if you're with, they're going to annoy you. It's going to feel annoying because they're attaching themselves to your energy because they absolutely need it. I don't really want to be around people, bro, that are like so clingily attached to me, if that makes sense. You should be able to be here with me. And I shouldn't feel this strong attachment to you. I don't want to feel that energy. I feel good myself. I don't need to attach myself to you. And when you do it to me, 
I just feel not good. You know why? Because my energy is better than damn near everyone's, I, anyone's I've ever come across. And I've come across some good people with good energy and theirs was probably as solid as mine, some. But most people, bro, that I come across and they attach their energy to mine, it don't feel as good. Because my energy is better. Because of how hard I've worked, the knowledge I have, the things in my life that I apply. All these other people, bro, they don't even know about nothing. They don't know about anything. They're just existing on earth. They don't know anything. Like little to nothing. How could your energy be good when, you, when you're so ignorant to how things actually work? Bro, when we were in high school, when I was in high school, I didn't know nothing about like energy and stuff. That wasn't even coming into mind. We never knew what narcs were. We didn't know what energy really was. Well, we know what energy is, but like we never, we never saw it in a way where it's like avoid these people and, and we never even knew about that. You just kind of are around anybody and you don't think that way. You don't think about toxic people. You don't think about anything. You're just letting everything be. So when you learn everything seems to get better because you make better decisions. You have standards. You don't go around just anybody. I don't, I don't go around just anybody, bro. I, I don't, I don't care who it is. If I just meet you, just like, I'm not going to vibe with you instantly. I'm going to look at you and I'm going to be like skeptical. I'm, I'm very, what's the word? I'm very weary when I meet new people. I'm just like, I don't know what to think. I don't think anything of people when I just meet them. I'm just cautious when I meet new people. I, I like, I'm not your friend. I don't know you. That's just how I am. I can know you. I can get more comfortable around you, but I don't know you right now, motherfucker. So I'm cautious when meeting new people. That's just who I am. So like I said, folks, as chosen ones, we thrive alone for the most part. And we understand how important it is to have alone time. We understand how important it is not to be codependent on others' energy. It is draining. It literally drains you when you deal with people 24-7. Like when you're in school and look at the kids today, bro, like I said. The second they're out of school, they're on Snapchat talking to a whole bunch of different people. 24 fucking 7. Right to the time their head hits the pillow, is dealing with people and done. They're, they're asleep. And then they get up and it's like Snapchat, Snapchat, Snapchat. And then they're just like going to the bathroom or something. They come out, they shower, they whatever. Snapchat, Snapchat, Snapchat. Oh, gotta get the bus. They're on the bus, Snapchat, Snapchat. They're in school. Okay, I'm around people now. I, I, can, I, can, I can be around people now. That's how bad it is. Bro, when I get up in the morning, I don't look at my phone for a good amount of time. At least 30 minutes. It's usually about 45 to an hour. I'm getting straight up. And I'll pick up my phone because I'll take it off the charger, but I'm not like going into my phone and, and all this stuff. I literally take my phone off the charger. I walk, I put my phone on the island over there and I set it down, face down. I get my water. I'm getting up, I'm going. I'll either get a meal first or coffee first. Sometimes I'll get up and I'll drink some water. I'll rehydrate myself. I'll drink some coffee with it, but if I'm if I'm very hungry when I get up and I need a meal before I even need coffee, that's what will happen. It's either or. And my day is getting started. You might clean up a little bit, brush your teeth, walk outside if it's not wintertime right now, if it's the summertime, walk out on your deck, get some nature, <sighs> breathe. I'm not thinking about other people. I'm not thinking, oh, check Snapchat, talk to my friends. No, man, no. But that's what most what other people can do. And that's why you're not geniuses. That's why you don't think like a genius. That's why you're not as sharp as you should be. Because your mind is like mushy. 
you would be surprised the things you could do in life if you could just get focused. But it's like people are blocking themselves from being that focused. Because they would rather not feel alone. They would rather vibe with their little friendly friends. They would rather... What is your problem? Codependency. That's your problem. You should be dependent on yourself to feel good yourself. And then slowly, as your day keeps going on, you can start to deal with some people here and there, but you're still focused. It's like you're dealing with people, maybe texting someone back, but you're still focused, you're still focused, you're still focused, you're still focused. You see how, how I'm switched on right now, but you can be talking to other people, guys. You can be talking to other people, but you're still switched on in your zone, but you're still talking to other people. You can deal with this person, deal with this person. You're just in your zone all the time and you don't come out. You're not, oh, guys, what's going on? No, you're focused. That's important. This is what chosen ones do. This is how chosen ones are. We have a bigger purpose than to be fooling around with friendly friends and just doing whatever and all that. I'm not saying don't have friends. I'm not saying don't talk to friends. You have to be focused first. You have to get your mind in the right place first before anything else. You shouldn't be concerned what the Backstreet Boys are doing tomorrow. You shouldn't be concerned what the next song is coming out. You shouldn't be concerned about anything else besides how you're going to get yourself first. Because you come first, everything else comes after. Because when you put your best foot forward, the best things is going to happen to you. You can be the best person for everybody else. You can move mountains. But if you're weak, if you're codependent, if you're around people all the time, you don't think for yourself, you're just a sheep. You're literally a nuisance at this point. People is tolerating you. You're tolerating people. Do you want to be in a position where you have people around you and you're literally tolerating them or they're tolerating you? Is that what you want? Or do you want boys around you and, 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 and people around you that you guys are both in your good energy, doing what you should be doing, focused in the right headspace, making the right moves, talking about the right things, not getting with your little girly friends or your guy friend talking to the fucking Kardashians or something else. Who cares? <laughs> but some of you do. And maybe not some of you watching this video, I'm not sure. But there's people out there that well do and y'all know it. And it's stupid. Yeah, let's be concerned about the Kardashians and their lives. Because our lives are miserable and we have to think about them to even think about anything good. We just think, bro, I know girls where I come from, they literally try to be like the Kardashians. And they're overweight. <sighs> this is a problem. This is a problem. This is why chosen ones thrive alone for the most part. Because outside energy, the things that's out there, bro, and I, I hope I'm making this video very clear right now. Outside energy, bro, is going to throw things off for yourself for the most part. That's a fact. If you're a chosen one and you're focused and you just start to let anything into your life, things are going to start to get bad. You have to have boundaries. You have to have structure. You have to do things a certain way. You have duties. You have things to do. And the people you talk with should be intelligent themselves. The people that you're around should understand things. Otherwise, you're going down. You are going down. They're going to bring you down to where they are because they can't rise up to where you are. Life is a forward going motion and we just want to be excelling and, and going up. We don't want to come down. No, 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 no. We want to go up. We want to go up. We want that. We don't want to be da, 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 down. We don't want that. Take a sip of coffee because we're going up, baby. We're going up. We got things to do. Let's get up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There shouldn't be all this weird energy connecting to each other. Let's connect. Let's just connect, bro. Let's just be attached to each other. 
you should be you should you should be able to be in my presence and I shouldn't feel this strongness of energy. It should be freeing. I want to feel free. I don't want to feel trapped. I don't want to feel like there's some Jezebel female in plain sight attaching herself to me in a toxic way to the point where my mind don't even like like it. My mind can't even think straight. It should be some freeing, pure, beautiful woman, if anything. It should be very successful friends, boys you have around you that get it. That get it. You have to have a standard today, folks. This is how chosen ones move. This is the way it must be. Codependency simply cannot exist in the blood of a chosen one. It can't exist. You have to get rid of it. You have to get your shit straight. Your life comes first. Everything else comes after. It's guys, it's simple routines that's going to put you over the edge over everybody else. And if you do simple routines, like the second you wake up in the morning for the first hour, two, three in the, in the run of the day, you set yourself up for the rest of the day as long as you don't fall into something bad or drink alcohol three hours in the day, but obviously not. But if you just keep it going and stay focused, knock off the things you have to do, you're going to be in the right mind frame. It starts with the start of the day. So I hope this video could help. I hope this video could inspire you guys to get your energy correct, get your energy right to where it should be. Don't be letting people come and steal all your energy. Don't be getting people over that's going to come in and steal all your energy. And it's like you felt better before they even came. If a mistake like that happens, do not get the person over again. You want good energy. You want pureness. You want intelligence around you, not dumb, codependent, toxic shit. And this is the whole point of the video. This is why chosen ones thrive alone for the most part. Because outside energy throws everything else off. They will throw you off. They're thrown off. Everything is just a mess. You don't want a mess in your life. You want brilliance. You want excellence. You want to be able to take a sip of your coffee and say, Let's go, let's go, let's go.